Social hyperrealism is a photographically exact image of the social reality. If there was a photo camera which could picture the failings and the soul of this society, it would picture precisely those hysterical horror pictures that I present to your attention. Social hyperrealism has nothing to do with expressionism or abstract expressionism. In expressionism, an artist expresses his own feelings, while in social hyperrealism, he reads off the soul and suppressed identity of his society. An artist's social hyperrealism does not see one person. He sees and feels many people at once. In my pictures, a scream of hundreds of thousands of people of my city is expressed. In my pictures, genuine reality, genuine feelings from which lots of people try to run away is shown. People close their eyes on this reality while I draw it in its full glory. So, social hyperrealism is an extreme form of picture in reality. We must proceed from the fact that hyperrealism is a photographically accurate imaging of interior, people and anything else from what visible reality consists of using pencils and brushes. But what is social hyperrealism? It is photographically to the smallest detail exact picture of the feelings and the soul of this society, of social reality. And this is the most accurate picture of this society. I draw a huge censor who is watching you and whose heart is broken because of what he sees. If God saw my pictures, he would say that I drew his own heart and feelings when he looks at what is going on down here. If Aliens from a civilized planet came here, they would understand my pictures, because their impression from our society would be the same. Social hyperrealism is an extremely painful form of critical realism. This is an ultra-radical form of visioning and feeling social reality. The heart of the society. A society is subconscious, the soul of the society. Every person is a part of the society, so everyone is affected by what the society feels. The society has a big heart, but instead of drawing this heart, the artists draw pictures which fit the interior of some kitchen or living room for money and fame. But when they come to my exhibition, they will see what the heart of the society they live in, but a blind tourist feeling. I consider myself a radical representative of the classical Russian artist union who picture the suffering of the people, gloomy routine and hopelessness of the Russian life. This society is unique because here a traditional Western expressionism turns into the social hyperrealism which portrays social identity. If an expressionist draws his own identity, a social hyperrealist draws the identity of the whole society. Western expressionists or critical realists are full of self-importance personalities, living in euphoria and silence. So the earth is the same. They are welcome children in their mother's womb, and this fact affects their art too. They draw their pictures, and their loving mother or father takes them with them. Social hyperrealism is a genre that arose in a dysfunctional environment, and is a reaction to it. If they were unwanted children, if they were in the womb of loveless, lonely mother who would beat her stomach every night and shout to God, Why did you punish me for? Then they would become social hyperrealists, portraying the suffering of their mother. So, from now there will appear a new direction, where the artist social hyperrealist loses his soul and his feelings, and expresses the feelings of his mother, the society, in whose womb he is locked. Social hyperrealism expresses mental condition of the society. Maybe this society will be unique because this trend is originated here, because it is here where an original Western expression is about its continuation and development to the new level. Social hyperrealism arose because the critical realism is not strong enough to express the reality of this society. As the water turns into steam while boiling, social hyperrealism appears where a particular social mental component exists. These paintings are created in a frenzy and extreme stress when tears fill the eyes of artists. This is an extreme form of public sympathy, an extreme form of the relationship and interaction with the society. It's an emotional, intuitive, sensual dialogue with the soul, with the subconscious, with the heart of this society. I do not want, but I am forced to express this in pictures like this.